CNN exclusively learning that the Fulton County DA, Fonnie Willis, is not giving an inch on her schedule to start Trump's Georgia election trial. Sources telling CNN that Willis will re-up her request for an August 5th start date, not slipping at all. If she gets her way, that means a televised trial for Trump on his efforts to overturn the Georgia election while people are voting. Also today, the Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg says there is no reason for further delay in his criminal trial against Trump. So if he gets his way, that means that trial starts in less than a month. And it comes as the status of Trump's Mar-a-Lago classified documents case tonight is at a critical point. The Trump-appointed judge, Eileen Cannon, inexplicably not announcing a trial date and raising eyebrows tonight with new directions just given to the prosecutors and Trump's team. Out front now, Ty Cobb, the former Trump White House lawyer. And Ty, I know that you have been focused on this new order by Judge Cannon this week. Tell me what stands out to you about it and why you think Jack Smith could actually have her removed from the case because of this order. Yeah, this is a remarkable misunderstanding of the applicable law. Um, it's embarrassing. Um, you know, she's been um, uh, struggling so uh, dramatically in this case ever since the start uh, when she was uh, uh, she butchered the special master decision and the 11th circuit, uh, uh, took her to task for it. Uh, this is, this is a total, um, totally baffling position. First, she appears to believe that the presidential records act is actually consequential in the case, which it is not. Uh, there is there, this is an espionage act case. This is not a presidential records violation act case. This is, um, the theory that, um, Trump has the ability to designate classified material as personal records is absurd on its face. There is no legal support for that, but she has put Jack Smith in a position of trying to draft uh, jury instructions in advance that would uh, posit that question to the jury. Uh, I think that, you know, it, it is such a fundamental error and it is, it is so, um, so reflective of bias that it, it does provide a basis, you know, not, not a dispositive basis, but it does provide a basis for seeking her recusal. I know that um, former Massachusetts District Court Judge uh, Nancy Gertner, who's very highly regarded by her colleagues and lawyers, um, you know, had the same reaction that I had. And she, uh, I saw some reporting today where she was suggesting that they seek to recuse her on this basis as well, uh, pointing out that, you know, she's just ignoring uh, a raft of equally absurd motions as well, uh, you know, persistently delaying this case. So, uh, so you know, a month ago, she, she ordered the identities of witnesses to be disclosed, and Jack right. Smith pointed out to her that that was just not allowable. Uh, you know, she's, she has decided to, you know, uh, dismiss the vagueness challenge to the, uh, uh, to the statute, but uh, to, the, to the Espionage Act statute, but has suggested that you know, it might be something that would be addressed in jury instructions at a time where jeopardy would already have been, have been attached and the government would have no remedy. It's really, it's really remarkable, some of the things that she's done to, that are just fundamentally uh, uh, unhinged. So, I mean, you're using your words, I mean, I know precisely, right? I mean, unhinged, and it gets to the point where I use the word inexplicable, I mean, because it would seem that any in any normal situation, you would be able to have a trial date set at this point, or you would have a judge able to do that. She has not done that. I know prosecutors have said they want to start on July 8th. Trump wants the entire case caught, tossed out. I mean, what do you think is going to happen here? What is she doing? Is she going to announce a, a trial date that's real at any point? I don't think, well, she, not that's real. I mean, she will announce a trial date at some point. You know, any other judge in the country would have long ago announced the trial date. Um, and then simply moved it. Uh, I don't think she has any intention of letting this case come to trial before the election or before the inauguration, um, uh, which may not matter if Trump loses uh, because the case would ultimately get to trial. Uh, but if he wins, uh, you know, it's highly consequential because they'll have the ability to dismiss it. And I mean, and to her credit, this is not the only case that she has made fundamental errors in. I mean, she recently uh, uh, butchered the uh, public right to trial by excluding a defendant, uh, a defendant's family from jury selection. Um, now that case pled, so it won't be dealt with on appeal, but um, you know, she just is, you know, the wrong judge. I wish the chief judge of the, 
of the district court there would step in or the 11th Circuit would step in sua sponte, as we say, on their own on their Yeah, own because volition. who would decide if, and, if Smith makes a motion to, to, rec to have her removed? Who, did, who decide? So that would be decided by the uh, 11th Circuit. All right. I have to say, uh, to her credit, um, as the preface for what, <laughs> for what you said thereafter right. was a new use of credit. Yes, to, to her credit, she could... Yeah, to her credit, she could merely be incompetent. <laughs> All right, Ty Cobb, thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, Aaron, take care. Nice right. to be with you. All right.